my Klaus. It's great to be here. Hello, Sophia. Yes, nice to meet you, and I'm really looking forward to getting to know you. Now Jack is driving us, so how do you like it? How does it feel for you? To be quite honest, I think it's mega cool. <laughs> yes, um, in fact for many people it's, um, it's quite, it feels unusual and uh, they need a moment to anticipate to the situation. I mean it's a computer driving a human. Do you understand that? It's different for me, because I know how reliable smart systems are. After all, that's what I am myself. Okay, so you're kind of familiar to the situation of uh, people being hesitant to you, are you? Yes, of course. I know that some people react skeptically to intelligent systems like me. But for my part, I have complete confidence in Jack. Look at me. Do I seem nervous? No, you look completely relaxed to me. For example, how does Jack know when he can overtake? Uh, in fact, Jack has a lot of senses with him and these senses give him a view and an understanding of what is happening around him. So he has a 360 degree uh, view around him with radar sensors, with cameras and also with laser technology. Um, he can look 250 meters in the front of him and 180 meters to his back and by that he can take precisely decision what to do next so um, yes he's just reacting on what the other road users are doing around him I see so that means the passengers are not surprised when Jack overtakes or changes lane exactly so as you can see, in seven minutes, our automated driving experience will already be over. What a pity. That means our talk is almost over. Yes, but we two definitely stay in touch. I look forward to that, because I'd like to know something from you. <laughs>